We're at the Courtside RV Show. This place is like a circus. If this was the right choice. If you got it to spend and you're just like, hey, I don't know what to do with my money, this is a great buy. This may not be a B, but it's kind of a van. I mean, it's a bus, but <laughs> I can do this. This is pretty nice. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. We are at the largest RV show in North America here in Quartzsite, Arizona. And rumor has it that over 100,000 people are going to come to this RV show. Crazy. Crazy. So I'm assuming it's going to be super busy in there. Over a million people come here, RVers, come here every January to Quartzsite. Quartzsite? Quartzsite, Arizona. Thank you. <laughs> Very cool. I'm, where's the map? That's what I was looking for. That's not a map. This is just crazy town. Damn. This place is gigantic. This place is like a circus. There's food outside and fair food and in here it's just like jam-packed with people and vendors selling all sorts of stuff. It's it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I think we might need one of these. <laughs> That's true. Storage is not an issue because you can literally sort your closet. Transporting it, you, know, you can do it in any vehicle. I'm on the hunt for some new equipment so that one day we can eventually build out our own van. So we're looking to see what's new here. What about that? Get, uh, I wouldn't do that. I would actually do Starlight for that. So much to my surprise, the only thing that I found really interesting in there was Battleborn had a stand and you know, their equipment's awesome and I really love it. So cool for them. I'm just disappointed we didn't see other people that we that I'm interested in. The boat too. The boat was pretty cool. I enjoyed the boat. That was a great idea. But you know, we've, we've already got like a van. We just need to go and travel. We don't need a boat. Not yet anyway. Mm -hmm. Smells good. I'm so hungry. There's so many cold vendors here. We ended up at the jumbo smoked turkey legs. I'll let you know how it is.
Wow. How much was it for all this? Um, oh, twenty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Worth every penny. Mm. Mm. This place is incredible. It is crazy how busy it is here. This is the Thor 18A, and it's basically our same van, two feet shorter. So the bed is where most of that size comes from or is subtracted from. And it's a really great layout for one person. Not so useful for us, but. Yeah, not could bad. you imagine two people sleeping in this bed? Uh, no. 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 Not at all. I, I don't mean, know if we could actually sleep in it laying this way. You really couldn't. It like, would, it, it's small. You'd have to be pretty short. It's very small. Yeah. So this one's slightly different than ours in that they have a cassette toilet and not like a fixed toilet with a, uh, a ca the drawer thing. I don't know, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. But, but this is actually like a portable toilet. You could take in and out. So some advantages, because when you want to take a shower, you, it's, you've got more room. Disadvantage though, you have to take that out, take it into the bathroom, to dump it. Yeah, pros and cons. Pros and cons. It, it does have a pop top, which as you know, we're not a huge fan of. We just don't need it, but it does provide some more sleeping space. Yeah. Scope 18A, pros, it's small. It'll fit in your driveway. Cons, the bed is really small. Pros, if you're if you're like shorter and, and by yourself, that bed's gonna be perfect. But all in all, it is a very cute van, if I do say so myself. Slide out with a full size bed back here. Not bad. Ba full size bathroom, toilet, kitchen. Another slide out for the dining area. Probably folds in, makes it to another bed. So this is the Winnebago Estasha. If we're saying it right. Eh, close enough anyway. Five hundred and eighty-nine thousand for a Class A. You're nuts. That's crazy money. Well, if you have that money. Well, I guess that's true. If you got it to spend, and you're just like, "Hey, I don't know what to do with my money," this is a great buy. For the rest of us, I don't know. Normally when we're at these shows, we focus on looking at vans, but they actually don't have that many here while we're here. So we're obviously going to take a look at what they do have. And we are in a uh, fifth wheel uh, toy hauler. There you go. That's what I was looking for. And so it's kind of cool. It's really roomy. Look, there's a, lots there's of a TV in here. TV, like, like two beds. Plus you can put in like a quad side by side, something that'd be a lot of fun. So kind of cool. And then you come in here. Wow. Wow. Look at that kitchen. 
That is I amazing. Love this. I, it's like a full size like stove with an oven. I've seen some of the small ovens, but that's pretty impressive. I am impressed. This is serious cooking. This is gorgeous. Wow. Uh, okay, we need to know what's the MSRP. Wow, only one hundred and sixty-one thousand dollars. <laughs> Actually, all things considered, that's not too bad. But you have to buy a vehicle. Still got to have another vehicle. All right, let's look at the bedroom. All right. Cool. Wow. King size bed, bathroom with a shower. Pretty nice. Wow. Pretty nice. Look at this. You have a little skylight. I'm definitely a girl that loves quads and motorcycles and everything along those lines. And so I, I could see us in one of these one day. I don't know if Bob would want to trade the van in, but a toy hauler? This is so roomy. I do love it. Bob, would you trade your van in for a toy hauler? Nope, sorry. <laughs> love the van. All right, so it looks like we're in a solitude, grand design. Um, what is this? Oh, fifth wheel. Yeah, it's a fifth this wheel. This is a 2022 solitude fifth wheel for the price of $132,000. I mean, it doesn't seem bad compared to vans, but like Bob always says, you have to buy a vehicle too. It's spacious, it's got a lot of room. A lot of nice amenities. Could you see yourself cooking in here? I definitely could cook on this kitchen with all this space. It's amazing. I mean, look at, I mean, the lighting. Mm. And, and it doesn't really move, which is good. Full-size bathroom and a king bed. I mean, this is nice. This is like a house. It is a house. Is this a fifth wheel? Yeah, this is another fifth wheel. It's kind of the same layout. Oh, is it? I mean, is it exactly basic, the same? Same basic concept as the previous one we're in. So this is a reflection. It's a 2022. It's a, I think it's a double slide out, one on each side. <sighs> yes, this feels right. Maybe it's because we've been walking so much and I'm tired, but. <sighs> I can watch TV, have the fireplace on. But truthfully, this kind of feels like our house. So I guess we'll stick with our van. Pros and cons? Pros, lots of room. Cons, it's not a van. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Cons, you need a vehicle. Yeah, you need a vehicle. But... Cons, it doesn't fit in our driveway. No. Pros, cheap ready. Very nice. Very nice. Lots of great amenities. Yeah. I have to say, I could I could do something like this. If we could figure out how to get this set up in the van, <laughs> I would be all about this. Now, you don't mind a, a sink outside. No, sink outside with a cook, a flat top grill, some counter space. This is my jam right here. Love it. Oh. Wow, they did come and sell this one. I'm impressed. Right? Remember, she was she was five hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. Robert and Kathy, congratulations. Ooh, it smells new. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> this may not be a B but it's kind of a van. I mean, it's a bus, but <laughs> I could do this. This is pretty nice. And this is a class A. Class A, it looks like it's a double slide out. Wow. Full length, I mean, you have wow. a full size bed, oh. bathroom, double sink, shower. This is amazing. <laughs> I could do this. Wow. Just something like this. Oh, here's, here's 
your layout. <laughs> wow, this is a 35 MS 2023 Nautica Class A diesel. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I could get comfy driving this. <laughs> Wow, this thing is huge. I mean, seriously. Dinner, movie, cooking, full-size fridge. I'm gonna have Bob guess the price. Oh wow. How much do you think this is? Mm, 375,000. Higher. 550,000. Lower. It's four hundred and eleven thousand. Wow. <laughs> that is quite expensive. Quite expensive. Yeah. So Bob has always wanted to buy an e-bike to put on the back of our van. And we just found the vendor here. Electric, electric bikes, e-bikes, electric e-bikes. And he's about to test ride one. For $6.99, they're practically giving them away. Okay, here we go. Now he's really going to want an e-bike. Watch him come over here and try and talk me into it today. All right, I have to get one of those. That was super fun. <laughs> do I know him or do I know him? Do you need some popcorn, Hillary? No, not yet. What'd you get? Chocolate peanut butter? I asked for a small. <laughs> <laughs> I got a butter pecan cone. Like, it's literally as big as my head. This was the right choice. Okay, so this palm tree. I think we need this. Could you imagine we pull up to, you know, boondocking our RV spot and we put out our palm tree every time? It's only a hundred bucks. Be a good way to set your spot apart from everybody else. Right? You just like, put my palm tree here. <laughs> yeah, this shop? is part of the vendors and oh. almost like a flea market. Oh, cool. I, I do need that palm tree. I saw one in a box, 120. <laughs> Put a palm tree in the comments down below if you think I should have bought that palm tree. Maybe I will. Well, we did it. We walked the entire court court site. I don't know if I say it right, Quartzsite RV show. And there was so much more than just RVs here. I would say it definitely lived up to the largest RV show in North America for sure. As far as if it had the most RVs, I'm not for sure about that fact, but it definitely was huge. All right, here's my pros and cons of the RV show. Pro, boy, what an amazing, huge event this is. And it was really cool to come and see it. 
Con, I wish they would have had a bigger selection for the manufacturers for some Class Bs. It would have been really cool to see a few more options, but it was okay. Pro, I was shocked at how big it was and all of the different things that they have here. The food, the the vendors, it's like a flea market, RV show, you know, van life stuff. And then everything under the tent. Yes, and all of the like you know, technology and pieces and parts and different things that you might need. It was really fun to see that aspect of things. Uh, con, we must have walked like two, maybe three miles today, just inside the place, not to mention walking to park and everything else. So there's a lot of walking that, that we did today. Another pro, the food. Guys, that barbecue bowl or whatever pork bowl that we got, it was shredded pork coleslaw and baked beans one of the best things i've ever eaten if i if i am honest with myself and then those fries like come on pro pro ice cream pro so food 10 out of 10 for me